times where we cry and we are frustrated. It's not because of the reality of things. It's because of a way of thinking. We are thinking we are finished. Let me tell you something. I discovered this. My first time to pray for somebody with HIV AIDS was two, it was um, 1990, 1994. No, 1995. No, it should be 94, yeah. 94. 1994. I prayed, that was the first person I prayed for, you know, a person affected with HIV AIDS. Then, HIV and AIDS was something very serious. Even now it is. But those days, there were many things around somebody that is suffering that disease. You'll be separated. Like that guy, their wife had run away from him. He had lost his job. He was grounded in a small car room. He had not walked for about three months when I arrived in his house. And I prayed for him. Number one, to get saved. Number two, to be healed. After two weeks, he got healed. By the next time when I went to the same place, the same village, I, was told, I asked for the man. I was told, he's not here. The man is actually at the busy stage. He was at out. He is now doing his job. He was completely healed. Then, from that time, I have ministered to so many people that were HIV positive. And this is my observation. Somebody was okay until when he went to the doctor and they told him, you finally have the thing. From that moment on, his life begins to nose dive. His health goes depreciate so quickly. You see, somebody was looking healthy. Somebody was healthy, looking healthy, strong, and all that. Then they were, oh, it is good to check whether you have the thing. So the moment he's strong, he's the one who went. From that moment when they tell him, you have the thing. From that moment on, some of them, the following day, they could not be able to wake up. In two weeks' time, this person that was not having any difficulties, because he was told you carry the virus, his health begins to go down the drain. And within one man, that person has gone down to becoming a skeleton. I'm talking about the things that I've seen. So what is it? Before this person was told he was HIV positive, he had the virus, but he was still moving on with life. So what is it? He has been fed with the information. Once you get this disease, you are finished. The mind has accepted that any time there is an evidence that you carry the virus, you are gone. So what is eating the man? It is not actually the disease, but the mindset. But the mindset. But the mindset. I told you of a man who was... Uh, he was actually HIV positive. He was tested HIV positive. Then he went to his pastor. And he entered the office of the pastor. Before he could even greet the pastor, he began. Pastor, I'm telling you, I am not sick. I cannot be sick. I'm telling you. Then he began to quote the scriptures. I cannot be sick. I'm telling you. They are lying that I have sickness. That I have this thing. I don't have it. The man could not even allow the man of God to speak. And he continued speaking those things, how he is not sick, how he cannot be sick, quoting the scripture here and there. After something like 30 minutes, the man of God asked him, are you done? He said, yes, I'm done. Then the man of God said, did I say you are sick? I also say you are not sick. He said, that is what I was waiting for you. Then the man walked out. He was not even prayed. He went to the hospital. Got checked again. He came back to the same office the same day. HIV negative. HIV negative. Yeah. Yeah. So whatever that is bringing others down must not bring you down. It's a mindset. It's the way you look at things. If they say you are finished and you accept you are finished, you'll be finished. If they tell us 
You know the way they are speaking in the world today. Everything is going down. Economy is finished. Life is going to be more difficult. Diseases are here, they are coming. Children are becoming difficult to raise. Families are breaking down. If that is the only thing that is shaping your mindset, you'll be very frustrated in this life. In fact, it will be very difficult for you to live the next 40 years.